If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. Proverbs 25, 21 through 22. Dear Heavenly Father, you are the source of all love and mercy. We thank you for granting us your grace and help to forgive even those who have wronged us. By your strength, may we overcome evil with good, kindness, and service. Help us to be humble in our actions towards those who hurt us and seek to do good in their lives. May we be generous with charity and bountiful in our offering of mercy so that they may also taste your grace and experience your love. Let us be mindful of the power of forgiveness, Lord, grateful for the opportunities you have given us to serve others in your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for making prayer a priority in your life. Follow this podcast and listen weekly to receive godly wisdom and practical advice for daily living. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about deep forgiveness. So right now, just take a moment to hide away in your secret place. Maybe it's a place where you can relax and be comfortable. A place where you can turn off all distraction. And right where you are, simply close your eyes. Breathe in deep through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. And as you feel the tension leave your body, allow your spirit to reach out to God and let his words fill your heart. Today we'll be meditating on Proverbs 25 verses 21 to 22 from the King James Version. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. Right now, my friends, let's just take a moment to pour out your adoration to God. Jesus, I praise you for loving me, for dying in my place while I was still your enemy, for choosing to pour out your grace and forgiveness over me, for sacrificing yourself to restore my relationship with God the Father. I worship you for your love demonstrated in salvation. I praise you for you alone are good. I extol your name, God, for you are worthy of all glory. Defeat evil with God's goodness. The Bible teaches us that only love can conquer hate and only God's goodness can defeat evil. As illogical and implausible as it may seem, repaying evil for good will bring burning shame upon your foes and heavenly blessings upon you. For when you show kindness to your enemies, you overcome them. Because kindness does kill. It kills toxic environments. It kills the hold of resentment. It kills the root of bitterness. It kills the might of anger. It kills the power of hate in your life. You see, Jesus demonstrated this when he died at the cross for our sins. Christ died for us while we were yet his enemies. And by doing so, he broke the curse of sin and defeated the grave. His choice to repay evil with goodness and grace resulted in restoration for all mankind and victory over death. God knows repaying evil with goodness is hard to do. Jesus went to the cross, but it was not easy, nor was it pleasant for him. To succeed in this fight, you must be honest with God in prayer. So right now, my friends, just take a moment to confess your sins before God. And now as we transition, let's think for a minute on all the times God showed you kindness. Think of the challenges Jesus had to overcome in showing you his love, all the pain he pushed through and the scorn he suffered at the cross all of this out of compassion for you. 
Now think of past situations where God demonstrated his goodness in your life. All the miracles and mercies that he has manifested over you. Thank Jesus for his grace poured out to you, for his provision and his care. Thank him for all your current blessings and for those still to come. My friends, God is present and he is listening to you. He never said showing kindness to your enemies would be easy, but he promised to help you every step of the way. God sent his Holy Spirit to enable you to be compassionate, to show grace unto those who would not do the same for you. So ask the Holy Spirit to increase your mercy for others. Ask him to make you more like Jesus, to aid those who would harm you. Ask him to empower you to love the way Jesus did, to give to those who do not deserve your charity. Ask him to teach you to imitate God's love every day and toward everyone. Remember, God said you are to repay evil with kindness. Helping your enemy out when they are in need will be like pouring burning coals on their head, and the Lord will reward you. Even though loving those who caused you harm is difficult and requires self-denial, it can be done, and God promised to reward your efforts. God expects you to love others in the same manner you are loved by Him, so do not hold back. You can be merciful because Jesus has poured out His mercies over you. So my friends, do this, and you will see the very best of God's goodness manifested in your life. The podcast is a moving and inspiring biblical audio experience that will help you master wisdom from the world's greatest book. In each episode, you'll learn to apply biblical principles to everyday life. Each cinematic episode is a journey through the Bible's most profound stories that will strengthen your appreciation of the Word and inspire you to keep learning.